world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Almara Abgarian is news and lifestyle editor at Jam Press News Agency. Almara, hi. Hello, how are you doing? All right, how are you? Yeah, I'm uh, pretty enraged myself. I thought you might be content. I thought we might catch you moving house as we spoke, you know, so that you could leg it somewhere else. No, and... no, I'm afraid I, I enjoy my avocado toast and Netflix and gym too much. So I do. <laughs> that category. I mean, it is. I do love, you know, I'm always fascinated by a good old fashioned generalization, but Kirsty's hit the jackpot on this one, hasn't she? You know what? I think Kirsty knows exactly what she's doing and exactly what she said. I mean, there's so much to this to unpack. Right. Let's start with the fact that Kirsty is reportedly worth about sixteen million. Yeah. Perhaps she is the best person to talk about this. And I think, am I right in saying? I know, you know, look, people can't help who they were born to, but I think she's always had a few quid, right? Oh yeah. I mean, was it her dad's the um, sixth Baron, I believe? So um, yes. Yeah, essentially, essentially, Kirsty Allsop is the queen, almost. <laughs> well, Kirsty Allsop also went to, you know, had private education. There's yeah. a lot of areas there. Now, I'm not taking away from her career. She's done very well. She's worked very hard. But I think this kind of reeks a little bit of similar to Molly May's 24 hours in a day. Kind of thing. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, if you were born into money and your family helped you buy your house at 21, then it kind of makes sense that you yeah. would think, oh, well, it's easy enough. Yeah. But if, if I'm honest, what makes me angriest is actually that she discards the fact that some people are born into families where they don't even have enough money currently with the cost of living crisis as well. It's a very bad timing for this, or great timing for the Times to run the story. But if you're born into a disadvantaged family, don't even have enough money to pay for food, then you know, these luxuries don't even exist. I was but, about to say, the Netflix and the gym aren't there in the first place. Well, also, that as well, right? So I ca calculated today to see how much I would save on Netflix if I actually didn't pay for my own one, right? And bear in mind, I treat my Netflix as a luxury. I have a, I have this Disney Plus and Amazon Prime and the rest of them too, because I want to. But that's only about four grand over 50 years. So unless I want to be dead or 82 by the point I buy a house, if I can manage to scrounge up the rest of the cash, if there are no more tax raises, if there is no more energy cap issues, everything else. So it's just not feasible. Hang on, hang on. No, I, I, I reckon you could probably buy a three bed in Scunthorpe uh, if, if you just quit all of that. Because I was yeah. born in Scunthorpe, so I can say that. Is it a good place to live? I mean, I'm all for it if it's decent. That's a shizzle hole, but that's another uh, okay, story. Yeah. Well, as long as I know. <laughs> I mean, it's more the fact that it's like, well, then also, where do you work then? Just... Because work from, home, work from home might be have increased lately because of COVID and the pandemic and it being more of a general thing now. Yeah. But also, what if you can't get a job? What if you have to be at the company? And there isn't one in Scunthorpe or wherever else you go into the northern country, you know, northern side. Is it fair to say, though, Almara, that there are... I mean, let's just not take her completely at her word. Okay. Is she, is she to, to, to be slightly generous, is she just... Is it a nod to the fact, look, everybody wants everything. So you, they want the Netflix, they want the nice iPhone, they want the Sky Plus subscription um, or whatever. And sometimes you just have to make a sacrifice. I'm going to say this, right, and this is going to be quite offensive. I, I think Kirstie's a little bit stupid if that's what she thinks because... If you look at the whole thing, right, so luxuries aren't just luxuries. They are, if you can't afford to buy a house and you know it probably isn't going to happen, yep. then, you know, having that the gym to go to for your mental health, being able to work out is actually quite a big deal. It's not just going there because, oh, I want another pizza tonight. Let me work it off on the gym or, you know, having wild nights out. Like, it's it's such an extreme to say that if you cut all that out and then, as Kirsty said, yeah. get a job at 18. Mind you, I had a job when I was 14 stay at home with your parents, mine don't live in the UK, and save every single penny. Well, I'm sorry, what happens to your life then? Do you not have a life? Yeah, there's there's a reality so check I'm required. All for yeah, don't get me wrong here. I'm all for saving when you have to. I have been saving and giving up luxuries that I think are things I can give up and I'm willing to do. Yeah. That's great if you can do. But it's the fact that she says, I don't want to belittle anyone. And then it just assumes that everybody should be able to move home to their parents, yeah. wait five years of their younger years when they're meant to go out and have fun and have a good time, especially given they were locked away for two years. Do you, well, there is that as well, isn't there? Did you... <laughs> so when you watch those, and we've all watched those Channel 4 programmes with Kirsty and Phil, are you now firmly Team Phil? You know what? I'm not Team anyone. I'm just Team whatever's best for the public and people. And Kirsty's definitely on my bad side right now. That's all I'm going to say. 
So no more Kirsty in your house. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's leave it at that. Almara, great to have you on. Thank you. Uh, Almara Abgarian, who's a news and lifestyle editor at Jam Press News Agency. Good talk. Hot, Hot talk. talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.